Hi guys, here are the instructions for logging into Google Classroom at home. If you have any problems or issues with this, please email me and I will try to walk you through the process. Um, so step one is you're going to go to classroom.google.com. From there, you might need to add your child's email address as if, if you're a new user and haven't accessed it before, I believe from your home location. Um, it gets a little tricky and I haven't used Google Classroom a whole lot, so I'm not exactly an expert, but um, we will get through this and figure this out together. So, um, you might be prompted to enter your child's email address and if you are, it's going to be the first letter of their first name, followed by their whole last name, followed by 2029. So that's their the year that they are going to graduate from high school. Um, and then it's at fruitlandschools.org. So an example would be kfigart2029 at fruitlandschools.org. So you're going to enter it exactly like that. Um, if I were a student, that's how I would enter my name. Okay, and then from there, you should have to enter a password. Your child's password is the first four letters of their last name, followed by their four-digit lunch code. So if I were logging in as a student, my password would be F-I-G-A, and then my four-digit lunch code. I just put one, two, three, four. Your child will know their four-digit lunch code because... Well, they know it. <laughs> um, and then step four, if you have logged in before, you should see Mrs. Feigart's class, and then you can just click on that to see assignments. If you have not logged in before, you will need to enter a class code. And to do that, let's see if I can pull that up. Okay, so the screen would look something like this and you'll see a little plus sign up there in the corner. You're gonna click on that, and then this right here is where you enter the class code. For our class, our class code is I-A-G-2-O-L-L, -L, and those are all lowercase letters. Okay, and then once you have successfully been able to log in and enter the class code if needed, you should see a screen that looks something like what you see right here. So it'll say Mrs. Feigart's class. It has our class code. And then up here at the top, there are um, some tabs that you can click on. So for the stream, this is where anything new that I've posted is going to show up, or if I wanted to just share a message with the class or anything like that, you'll see it right here on this main screen. Um, to see assignments in by category, you can click on classwork, and then this is where you're going to see um, all of the things that um, kiddos need to work on for each week. I have these all just as due on April 3rd. Um, that's this Friday, uh, so it's up to you how you want to schedule that. Um, also, just keep in mind that most of the things in here are just additional practice for the kiddos to help them learn whatever it is that we're, um, whatever concept we're learning for each lesson. Um, so if you see one that says graded, so that would be one that they will need to do if you can hopefully access Google Classroom, they can do it right there online and just submit it. And that way I can see it and actually um, grade those ones. The other ones like this one, if I were to click on this one, it shows you everything that's gonna be in this assignment. If it doesn't say graded, then this is something that is not being graded and it's just to help the kids um, it's extra practice basically and each lesson has a YouTube video so this one if you click on this it takes you right to the video and this one's equivalent fractions on a number line okay I'm trying to figure out why we can't see oh, okay she just hadn't started writing it Okay, so students will need to watch the video. 
and then from there when they're done watching the video they can click on so this one is workbook page 95 and then the other one is workbook page 96 so they can just pull this up and then at the top of the page it gives an example so one-third would be equal to two-sixths would be equal to three-ninths because they're all in the same place on the number lines so down here kiddos are just looking for three fractions that are equivalent on this number line clue I see three here I see three here that are all in the same spot and I see three right here so they can choose any of those three to write on the lines. Okay, and then up here you can see these are the reading assignments. And if we click on this one, this is just a YouTube video of me reading the weekly story. And I tried to make it as much like being in the classroom as possible. Um, although, of course, it's just not the same. <laughs> But um, hopefully kids will enjoy listening to their teacher reading this um, story. And then, so that's it for that one. And then the vocabulary words is the same thing. It's another YouTube video that they can watch where I go over the vocabulary words with them. Um, so this will change weekly. So I'm planning to every weekend just add whatever assignments um, or practice pages I'd like the kids to work on for that week. Hopefully this makes sense. And if you have any problems getting in here or trying to figure this out, um, just let me know. I know it's a huge learning curve for a lot of us and we just need to work together and do our best. And I'm here to support you. Um, so give me an email, shoot me an email if you need help and I will see what I can do to help you. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys.